In general, my lab is taking a number of different approaches to addressing muscle disease, and some of these involve finding gene mutations, as I've already talked about, uh, but we're making a big push now to try to develop therapies. And obviously, you can't test a treatment, a new potentially dangerous treatment in human patients. So one of the important things we need to do is develop animal models. Dr. Vandana Gupta is a postdoc in the lab. Um, and she has focused on using zebrafish as a model system for muscle development. Zebrafish are an incredible model to look at developmental defects because they have clear embryos that you can examine under the microscope. And within three or four days, they go from a single fertilized egg to a complete little miniature fish, which actually we can observe swimming around. In our case, Vandana is creating mutations of various genes that are involved in muscle disease to see the effects of these mutations on fish muscle development. And by doing this, we can understand better what the true function of those genes is in skeletal muscle. One of the postdocs in the lab, Bezad Mogadazadeh, is heading up our group studying an interesting protein called selenoprotein N, which is mutated in a disease called minicore myopathy. Bezat has recently developed two lines of mice which carried distinct and different mutations in the selenoprotein N gene. And these are turning out to be a wonderful model for studying minicore myopathy. With, through the use of these mice, we're getting a better understanding of what causes the weakness in this disease and we hope soon to begin testing various treatments. Mike Lawler and Ben Reed now have a number of assay systems to actually measure the mouse muscle function and strength. We can measure how fast the mouse runs on a treadmill. We can measure how strongly the muscle contracts. And we can actually examine the muscle under the microscope. And we're now starting to develop a couple of treatments using various proteins that we hope will make larger and stronger muscle. Uh, and in collaboration with some colleagues in France using an approach called gene therapy to replace the defective gene uh, and basically testing a number of different approaches to see what's likely to work best to treat myotubular myopathy and some of these other diseases.